My name is Ada May. I'm from the class of 1964. I'm married to Oscar May, who's from the class of 1963. I have a daughter that graduated in 1983 and 1987. My granddaughter graduated in 2008. Uh, nieces, nephews, everybody after me <laughs> probably graduated from Roosevelt. Uh, and most grad Roosevelt graduates graduates uh, come from a dynasty of well, either their grandparents started the dynasty or their parents started the dynasty, and then it just keep on going from there. So I'm pretty sure alumni can identify with the fact that once you enter the Panther doors, your DNA is black and gold. In 2005, uh, Roosevelt uh, sponsored the 75 year jubilee. So we were deciding how could we get the alumni to give back to Roosevelt. Twelve people came together and we met. And then we decided on having a National Alumni Association. Uh, from that point we went to uh, organizing the 501c3. Uh, petitioning for membership and deciding on what our agenda was going to be. I'm going to read the mission. The mission is to bring together graduates and former students of Roosevelt High School, their spouses, related parties, and associates to promote educational, civic, and charitable and social interests and other related activities. In fathering of that purpose, the organization should include activities, but not limited to the following. Encouraging and supporting academic achievement and excellence, promoting and supporting excellence in culture, athletic and civic activity, providing scholarship, encouraging and supporting parent community involvement in support of these activities, documenting and celebrating the rich history uh, and achievements and successes by alumni of this historical institution. Please join us and become a member of the National Roosevelt Alumni Association. Membership is membership in this national organization will not conflict with your membership or participate in your graduating class reunion or organization. In 2006, we met with Charlotte Wright, the principal of Roosevelt then, and we asked where could we help, and she said tutoring and mentoring. So what we found was there were young people that worked and that was not able to meet after school during the school tutoring session. So we went to Reverend Vaughn, a first AME church, and he allowed us to have space, and we tutored for the uh, DQE testing. Uh, when summer came, Reverend Whittington, Whittington let us have space over on 15th Avenue and we bought books and we tutored any student that was willing, a parent that was willing to bring them to us. Um, we, we sponsored, uh, we bought uniforms in 2009 for the basketball team. We sponsored um, historical assemblies, why Roosevelt is historical significant in 2010, and why our tradition matters so. And we also involved young people in the historical preservation part of Roosevelt. We paid money and took them to Whitey during the conference to explain why Roosevelt it should be a historical site and why uh, our tradition should be ongoing. Now I would like to give you good news. As of November 2012, we will be listed on the National Register as a historical site. From that point, we will go to working on getting a marker next year put on the property stating when Roosevelt was founded and why it was built. And from that point, we hope to acquire the library across the alley and make it a office or a clearinghouse for everything alumni. We're working on a website and at this website you will be able to follow what we are doing 
and uh, you'll be able to get all the information about us. You'll be able to check and see that we're registered with the federal government as a 501c3. You will be able to uh, get your membership information. At this point, membership dues are $25 a year. And it's renewable year, yearly and it's tax deductible. We have been working with the National Roosevelt Alumni Association since June 2005. At this point, we are looking for new alumni, younger alumni, to keep the tradition of Roosevelt going. Uh, we don't only want the building to survive, we want the institution to survive as an educational institution and our tradition to carry on.